A shelter has opened for evacuees at a school in Miami. That's where you find Team 12's Mitch Carr, who's live with the details for us this afternoon. Mitch. Rachel, Gila County deputies went door to door, knocking on doors, telling residents in the Roosevelt Estates area, just steps from Roosevelt Lake, that it was time to go. There was thick smoke in the air and ash was falling from the sky like it was snow flurries, but that still wasn't enough to get everyone to go. I'm going to tell no. Well, where am I going to go? Patrick Lynn has lived in Roosevelt Estates since 1992. The Woodbury Fire doesn't bother him. They don't think they'll let you they'll hop the road, do you? I wouldn't think so. His friend and longtime roommate, Cindy Berry, is very concerned. It's scary. You know, like I said, especially when you don't drive and you can't run. <laughs> you know, what do you do? Cindy wants to get out of the area and get somewhere safe. But what about Patrick? Like I said, now I'm really getting scared. I don't know. If we can get to the valley. I don't want to leave you. But what good am I? At the same time, Cindy and Patrick were speaking to us. Gila County deputies were telling their neighbors it was time to go. Patrick just hopes firefighters get the job done. I don't know why they're not... I haven't heard an airplane one or a helicopter, so they're not fighting it very good. And still, they sat, because going their separate ways, even for a wildfire, was just unthinkable. I would hate to be gone and wonder what was going on here, you know? So where you see that American flag fluttering, the smoke behind that, that's pretty much straight north down State Route 188. So that is toward Roosevelt Estates where those two folks were living. Cindy and Patrick will be hoping that even though the smoke has reached their area, the flames do not. Reporting live in Miami, Mitch Carr, 12 News.